Hello and welcome back to Escape from Mars in Space Engineers. And we are going to continue working on our rover. And Saf over here as well, of course. Um, in the previous episode, we did a lot of stuff to hook this, be able to hook this... Um, small grid up to our rover and we managed to move things around and improve certain aspects on the rover mostly we haven't done a whole lot there was it was things that took a bit more time than you probably would want to admit and of course running out of resources is always a possibility which we which we are we don't really have enough steel plate i can see i'm going to have to just more or less just start taking apart taking this apart just to get steel plates which Okay. Thankfully, I have a good grinder. This would have been a lot less fun to do if I had a really shitty grinder. So, we are going to get some more of this. There we go. And let's keep on going. Finishing up the floor would be well, a nice thing considering it has been like this for a while now. Not really ideal to... It's a trip hazard to be honest. It's uh, something w w which can easily kill you. Or hurt you a lot. If nothing else. Um, No, I did take a bit of something else than just steel plate since I ground down the the con conveyor junctions in the base. We didn't have enough space for everything, but yeah, let's take you away. Like that. Here we go. And let's get going. Let's get more. Just more. I'm sort of wondering what I... <clears throat> I haven't decided, so I'm wondering what I will do when it comes to leaving and how I will leave. Uh, I, I really haven't decided what to do. I think what I want to do is make something of my own. Possibly make something really Energy simple. Low but really powerful powerful enough that it it can take this without any issues with it up to space so it needs to be strong enough to care like get itself like its own mass up 
and get the extra mass from my small grid flyer here. And I don't think I need to go that big. Now, I do need to think about sort of size or thrusters. Because the only way we will be able to get up to space is um, hydrogen thrusters. And what I want to do is minimize the risk of things going kaboom because there's only sort of one way to actually get those thrusters um i'm not sure if, if you remember but back at let's see do i have the mark up for that um did i hide it okay hit it nope wrong key wrong key i think i hit it MRE experiment site? No. Crash site? No. Or is it that? Maybe it is. Let's, um... Corp headquarters. Yeah, right. It's past the the headquarters. Yeah, so over at the MRE experiment site, we found a big hydrogen ship with a lot of thrusters on it, like hydrogen thrusters. And we can't make hydrogen thrusters. Like, I can't place them. I can't build them. If we go and search hydrogen, we have the hydrogen engine. We have the engine. We have the industrial hydrogen tank. We have the hydrogen tank and the small hydrogen tank. And that's it. That's all we have. If we go into progression and look... We do not have ion and we do not have refineries. We don't have They're not showing up here because I think they would be here. But yeah, we don't have hydrogen thrusters and that is basically the only way to get up to space. And the only hydrogen thrusters that we sort of easily can get to without them getting destroyed or damaged or shot or anything happening to them uh, that isn't clang so it's actually legit then we only have one option which is back at the that experiment site but that ship is big it's it's too big it's too heavy it's too bulky so i do want to just see if i can take the thrusters and uh, see if we can um repurpose them 
into a more streamlined and better vehicle or craft. So we have to decide if we are going to do that or if we are going to go for the one in the G Corp headquarters. But that will require us to fight for it. And fighting for it, uh, yeah, it might damage it, which um, would be rather unfortunate. So I think the best option is to actually make something on my own. But I'm not sure exactly what Thank I'm going to make. Know. I think I've decided that I am going to make it myself. Whatever it is that's going to get us off the, the red planet here. I just haven't decided on a design or a size even, to be honest. I do know I don't want it to be too big. That's about all I know. So, hmm. It needs to be big enough if I want to want Saf to be able to latch on. It needs to be decently big so there's for connection a connection point or just a flat surface Inventory for a landing gear full. to connect so i do need that to be a thing it needs to be a, it can't be too small but i'm also not sure exactly how big I want it to be. But inventory full. Calls inventory full. Inventory full. See if we can get a bit more steel plate. did make um, about uh, my uh, my attack on G Corp on the airbase I did make that into uh, an edited YouTube short which I hope was actually fun. I, I thought it was actually quite good and was fun to make, so. If you haven't watched it, it would be like, I think it would be actually something fun to watch and it's like, what is it 55 seconds long? Like it's always a minute or less because that's the limitation for YouTube shorts. But if you don't like the concept of YouTube shorts, then just stay away. It's absolutely up to you. Usually my issue with YouTube shorts is it's something really like the topic is usually really dumb or it's not actually that fun to watch so I don't really 
I'm not really a YouTube Shorts kind of guy to watch, so to watch them, but I wouldn't have made something if I didn't think it was Inventory useful. Full. So the ones I do make is something I would have watched if they... If someone else made something like it, so... That's usually my... My thinking about basically any kind of video. Would I watch this? Yes or no? And so far, all I've done is... Yes! Regardless of the reason, yes, I would have this on. And watch it. Or listen to it. That's also an option. Just listening to something. It could be nice as well. Let's see. Do we have anything down here we need to... I think what I should do is... Sort of the walkway here. Just so this is... Oops. So that is... Um, a bit less ugly. I might want to do a repaint. It's a black, so especially underneath, it can be really hard to see Energy since it's low. black on black. Even for me, so for you, for anyone watching, it would be even worse. I might change the, the floor here. Or I might just put in some lights. That might be a, a thing as well. Um, my energy... It's getting low. Energy critical. Energy critical. Yeah, let's go and fix that then. There we go. Um, whoop. Ugh. Heavy armor is so expensive. It's ridiculously expensive. It's too expensive even. Inventory full. Um, but a but a but a but a but a I think I got this base fairly intact. Didn't actually take that much damage. Which is rather nice. And of course, we need more steel plates. Once we have done this, we should be set for making that look decent. Basically strip the whole floor. There we go. That should... That should be good enough. I don't think I need to do much more. I might do that one just... To have a bit... So the connection is slightly more secure. 
probably this one as well. Yep. A few more. A few more. Just to seal the deal here with the all the connecting parts is a bit more secure. After that we should be fine. And there we go. That is more than enough for now. I might do the rest off camera. Just to... And I'm not going to put the, the metal grids in. It's 50 metal grids each. So that's a bit too expensive. And excessive. Let's refuel ourselves and oh right I hooked up um... right I hooked up the the tank oh I think I know what we need for our next episode convoy dispatched ice Delivery ice okay so let's prepare for that journey the last bit of episode that it is left here inventory full let's prepare so we can actually set inventory off the first full. thing next time but yeah we it's going to be a good thing to do regardless to be honest so it's not a bad idea to do it's just that I would have liked to just not mix up the shapes a bit there we go. Good enough. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. That's... Low. And energy is low, of course. Grinding and doing any sort of welding uses up a lot of um, suit energy, which I would say is fair, but uh, I don't know. Maybe a bit too much. Um, Inventory you guys sold. need to come with me. All oh, right, I actually have these. Remove them. go I have a lot more power cells now I'm going to have gonna have to take a look just to see how much more we have but inventory full that's a lot of large steel tubes if I'm not wrong.
Inventory full. Not sure if there's anything in you. Nope. Just in the cog containers Inventory and full. interior turrets. Would be nice. Stars contain a lot of useful inventory stuff. Full. And inventory full. Turn on our lights since it's starting to get dark. camera I'm not going to take all the steel plates because that's mostly a waste of time but I am going to take most mostly of the all more or less all of the the useful stuff Part of that is get all of you and your ammo. I will take these because they are kind of nice to have because they have, um, they actually contain, if we take a look, they contain medical comfort components For some reason some kind of grime messed up my mouse making it really annoying to move around but here we go There's not much left of the episode, which is why I'm rushing a bit. Just so we are ready for the trip next time. Because yeah, I connected up, and I should have known, I connected up the... I actually built this hyd hydrogen tank and the oxygen tank, and I should have known that... Um, yeah, the ice will disappear into the tanks, but I didn't think of that at the time, so we now have no ice. Inventory full. And I would have needed to go and get ice anyway, because at the time we are going to Inventory leave the planet, full. we would have needed to go and get more ice anyway to fuel up the hydrogen craft we made to leave the planet so i would have needed to do it anyway but this just means i can do it before and get it set up before i actually have the ship Let's see, is there anything in here which we need to take? The uranium ingots. Yes. The tools can come with me and all that ammo. And as much of the other stuff as possible. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do. 
is off camera. I'm going to empty these two into my rover. I'm going to strip apart all the useful stuff like cryo chambers, take the large cargo containers, eventual stuff from doors, LCD panels, maybe not all of them, but some of them, and see sort of what we have left to uh, take and then leave sort of a husk here. Still, I, I will make, I will actually make right now, I will make a GPS, GPS, G Corp uh, base. And since, since it's blue, I know it's mine. Just to show where it is, and that way I can find my way back here. Even though it's just a husk. Like so. And... Energy low. We will finish this a bit more permanently by the time it's it's time to attack a ground shipment we will have this more up and running and with ammunition and so on and i think i will before we end go and recharge myself and my suit so i don't die in my outro <laughs> it would be rather unfortunate and yeah Ice is the next pit stop, basically, because we need we need our ice to get oxygen for ourselves and hydrogen for ourselves and the future like craft, like the spaceship, the space worthy ship we will make that has hydrogen. Um, thrusters tacked onto it we need hydrogen for that and we also need a small amount but still oxygen to survive out in space um, and yeah so we will go and get ice I will probably get a lot of ice so I'm not sure exactly how I will do it, if I will make... I might actually move there and start designing a drill ship, which probably is going to be very ugly. But that is going to have to be it for this episode. We have stripped the airbase basically for anything. We have finished up a lot of the rover. Not all of it, but a lot of it. And I think what I'm going to do is off camera, I'm going to do the last bit of polish before we come back next time when we will do the trip and get some ice because we will need a lot of ice. So with that, all that I ask of you is that you like the video because that would be ice cool and nice of you. And uh, we, <laughs> that badness out of the way, we will uh, say thanks for watching, goodbye, and I hope I'll see you in the next one.